All right, guys, welcome back. I'm out here with Damien. How you doing, bro? I'm good, and you? Yeah, doing all right, bro. Doing all right. It's a little dark. Can you stand like right here? I'm sorry, it's a little dark. Right on, bro. How old are you? 22. Okay, okay. Did you grow up here in Tucson? Yes, sir. How's life growing up? Uh, honestly, it's been real rough because I got I got kicked out when I was nine years old, and I've been homeless ever since. Wow, dude. Yeah. Wow. Um, what led to that? Um, just my mom doing in the house and stuff like that. I started stealing from her and doing crap too, and uh, she just kicked me out. Sorry to hear, dog. Yeah. That's that's a rough life. How how have you how have you been maintaining since you were nine? Um. It's been real hard maintaining. I've been in and out of rehabs and I just can't get it right. So, I don't know. Yeah. So when you turned nine, um, did, did did both of you guys get kicked out or you just bounced? Uh, we both got kicked out. She sold the house for c and stuff like that. So, and then, um, yeah. That's how strong it is. Yeah. World, like that's how strong that world is, Doug. I totally understand, bro. Do you remember how you were feeling at that time? Um, I was feeling depressed on my third, on my 14th birthday. I tried hanging myself and committing. So I was just real down and depressed. I understand. I understand. Um, and when you were, when you, when you left at nine, were you, you were just staying on the street, just wherever. Yeah, wherever I could f and find dope. Excuse my language. Yeah, I get it. I get it, dog. Um, in school, how far did you go in school? Freshman. I okay. dropped out freshman year and stopped going to school. I understand. I understand. Um, so how how is it out here for you, like on a daily basis? It's dangerous. It's it's real dangerous. You know, you got to be prepared for whatever. You, I Yo. got stabbed in my face for almost trying to get robbed. I got pistol whipped for trying to get robbed. Because nobody's going to rob me for what I got. You know, I work hard for my stuff. Absolutely, bro. Um, how do you support yourself? Uh, I get money sent in from my deal. Cool. Awesome. Are they here in the States? No, they're in Indiana. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Right on, bro. Um, I was about to ask you, like, what this, what's been the scariest experience? I'm sure you've seen been through a lot the scariest experience was uh my cousin get his head blown off at age six when i was still living at home he got his head blown off with a shotgun by the cartel uh, bro. yeah i can't imagine how you felt and dealt with that that's so scary dog yeah i was Ever since then, I've been in my own little world, depressed, sad. I'm not really scared, I'm prepared, you know, because I've been out here for so long, like it's just whatever to me. Okay. I've seen a lot of stuff happen, a lot of stuff go down. That's not even worth it, you know, but it is what it is. I mean, at least I'm not the one in the situation. Yeah, yeah. So what keeps you going? What keeps me motivated and going is um, I got a baby on the way. Yeah, so. Congrats, bro. But that's what also keeps me motivated to go to rehab. I'm going to be going to rehab pretty soon. So I ain't going to be out here any longer. Yeah. That's what it takes. Just keep trying. If you get knocked down, get back up. That was my life for like 13 years. Just in and out. In and out, bro. So just keep trying, you know. Yes, sir. Just keep trying. Um, so, what's your 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 main choice? My main my main choice is a uh, oh. okay blues yeah beans yeah yeah I got out of treatment in 2019. That's when I started hearing about them. Um, how have they impacted your life? They destroyed my life. I lost my job. I lost my car. I lost my home. All because of that. So, okay. what kind of jobs have you had? I was in a painting company and I was helping my brother and his dad paint and remodel houses and stuff like that. Okay. So, you still talk to your brother? 
no my family don't talk to me no more none of my family my mom don't talk to me no more my sister don't my brother don't nobody talks to me except for my tío in indiana and my dad okay okay do you think they don't talk to you just because like your habit or you, the way you, like you live or why do you think uh they don't talk to you uh because i make poor decisions yeah totally understand I really appreciate your honesty too, bro. Yeah. Like it can't be easy, like reliving these situations. Um, if you could change one thing about your life, about today, what would it be? My addiction. Yeah. That that was my biggest wish too. Because if that was gone, I would have me back. You know? Yeah. I would have myself back. But it's possible it's not over because you're going to go to rehab and. and handle that uh, it just it just clicks one day you know that's that's what happened to me I just got tired I was like I might as well start applying myself you know um, do you like rehab do you like that the whole well atmosphere? yeah I, I recommend the art because it's lovely they have a swimming pool you do activities you go to classes it's wonderful dude I love it they have a so cool. uh, detox uh, they have detox, uh, residential, and ILP. And then after that, uh, sober living. It's Everything wonderful, dude. Wow. Yeah, that's it's wonderful. Have you heard of Buena Vista? Yeah, that's Some where people... my, my, my tío works there. Okay. Some people told me that's a good spot, too. Um, yeah, but the thing is, they don't have a residential. Okay. Residential's but good. the ARC has it all. It's over there on Tinkle Verde, and they have it all over there. Sweet. And it's fun, bro. It's fun. Really? Is it comfortable, like a relaxing? Yeah, it's comfortable. They have nice beds, nice... It's nice over there. It's like an old hotel. But okay. Yeah, but it's wonderful over there. I loved it. Awesome, bro. That's that's cool. Um, so after that, like once you're there, um, stay as long as you can too, you know, because you'll be safe there, comfortable, and you get a chance to rebuild, you know, re yeah. like plan for the immediate future, you know. Like, you know how that goes. Um so from there, what what's going to be your plan? Uh, get out, try to find somewhere to stay, get a job, uh, provide for my baby mama and my upcoming baby. So there you go. You know if you're going to have a boy or a girl? I don't know. Okay, right yeah. on. When, when does she do? We don't know that neither. I got you. Okay. Does she stay out here too? Yeah, she's with me. I don't know where she's at right now, but she's out here with me too. That's the whole reason why we're going to go to rehab pretty soon because I can't have her out here no more. Yeah. There's only so much we could do for somebody, you know? Yeah. Uh, does she um, have a habit as well? She smokes. That's it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, got I got you, man. Well, good. I'm glad you have a plan, bro. I, I interview a lot of people um, and they kind of have a plan, but it sounds like yours is concrete. It's, yeah. it's set in stone and... and sounds like it's gonna work out so that's really good to hear brother um, if you could speak to a younger you what would you tell yourself um, stay away from drugs don't get involved with the wrong crowd don't do something you're not supposed to don't do anything I wouldn't do yeah. you know absolutely bro hello good morning um, so right on is there anything you wanted to say like in general or something that you think people need to hear like about this life uh it's not worth it at all it's really not i mean it's just an addiction that you could overcome i mean what's what's so cool about getting high i mean it's not cool a lot at all if you're if you're addicted to something it's easy to get off of, but it's hard to stay off. But if you have somewhere to stay and take advantage, if you have people who care about you, somewhere to stay, take advantage of that, man, because I don't got that. And once I get out of rehab, I'm coming right back out here to the streets all over again. I have nowhere to go. So if you have that, take advantage because you could actually do it. You could get it done. Me, it's kind of rough because I have nowhere to go. But if you have somewhere to stay, people who provide for you, people who help you, you got it. You got this. Have you thought about 
um, like while you're at the Ark. Um, I know they have like sober livings. Have you tried that before? Yeah, but I'm not sober at the moment, so. No, I mean like when you get out of the Ark. Oh, no, like I, I never completed the program. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How do you feel um, when you go this next time? How do you think that's going to? that's gonna work out well i have to complete the program because i have a baby on the way so absolutely yeah we gotta do it for the baby um so maybe while you're there um when i was there i asked him like what else is available for me like a place to go maybe get on the housing list um but there's like a sober living it's not really like a halfway house but like a sober living you stay with other people there um and um and you got a place to go do you have access yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, that'll help you with that. I'm on uh, United Healthcare Access. Right on, bro. That's good. Yeah, you're doing all the right things. That's so good, man. Um, so for me, I've never asked this question before. Uh, this December will be six years since I haven't used. What advice would you have for me to keep going? Uh, Keep at it, man. Just stay sober. It's not worth it at all. Yeah. If you if you if you relapse, it's not gonna be worth it at all, man. You're just gonna come right back out here, do the same old shit, and it's not fun. Facts. It's not fun at all. Facts. Yeah. Facts, brother. Thank you. You're um, welcome. Well, I appreciate your story, bro. Um, as far as actually, one last question. As far as like the future, and is there any jobs you want like in the future? Like how, how do you want the rest of your life to look? I want to go to, uh, I want to do a uh, construction. There you go. Or plumbing, they get good money. Absolutely, absolutely. And you could take that job anywhere, like relocate or, that's, that's a good goal. Awesome, yeah. bro. Well, I appreciate your story, man. Um, if any family or friends or anyone that knows you see this, do you want to say anything to them? I love you guys, man. Just reach out to me, you know? I like to hear your guys' voice every now and then, but if not, it's all good. I'll hear it one of these days. Okay. And if they reach out and ask, like, where you are, do you want me to tell them, like, where you're at, or do you not want to? No. Okay. Absolutely. They already know where I'm at. They okay. just don't. They just don't condone. They don't come. You know. I it is what it is. You know. I got an addiction. I understand. All right, brother. Well, I'll give you my card. Uh, if you ever need a ride to the Ark or anywhere, just hit me up. All right, All right, cool. Thank you, bro. Thank you.